friends, Natasha from Natasha Scrabble Corner and today I'm coming to you with the uh, project share and uh, a little uh, a tip for you how you can uh, present your handmade um, craft goodies um, and recycle at the same time. So usually you uh, purchasing um, items and they come in like in a plastic bags and sometimes they come on a cardboard sometimes they come on a clear sleeve like stickers so uh, clear see-through so uh, carefully remove all the stickers of the clear um, sheet and try to save it and open your packaging as nice as possible then um, you can um, adhere a paper or you can actually um, decorate uh, the backing where all the SKU numbers and uh, labels or you can add like a stickers right in here there was a sticker there is a name of the collection there was recollection uh, the price tag in here so just use your imagination you can use the washi tape you can use the stickers from the collection um, you can use just regular paper that um, you know uh, you can just adhere it and uh, this is a solid card base so um, basically um, the, it's ready to go for your handmade uh, craft goodies and um, your recycling and um, it looks very professionally and nice and neat so here is an example of um, this is a packaging from stickers precisely this uh, little dollar stickers with the snowflakes and um, they were on a clear uh, thicker uh, plastic sheet right there if you will look careful there is still outline of those so I had die cuts left from my project so uh, and they are florals and flourishes and leaves uh, in pastel colors so those are very handy to have for shabby projects if you're gonna tuck it under your flowers, uh, card making, you name it. They are very handy to have, especially if you do not have the die cuts. And uh, these are the spell binders. Um, let me find them. That's uh, gonna be this uh, uh, die cut, um, the older one. Sorry for the glare, it's S4. Uh, three two eight uh, so it's six die template um, foliage okay so it, yeah I bought it at joannes.com it used to be $21 I'm sure you can uh, find um, a better price at uh, Tuesday morning or what's not okay so <clears throat> I uh, grabbed a couple of flowers from my stash. This is a Prima flower from the uh, Santa Baby, uh, a newly released Christmas collection. And these guys are a regular recollection uh, dollar bin. Um, well, they're not dollar, but uh, recollection uh, flowers. So the tag is from the uh, collection. Stickers are from the Prima collection, Santa Baby. Um, I used the doily for the top. You can, you still can see those um, labels right there. So this is very nice way. I love when I'm working on a project. I like to send everything out that was related to this project, so I wouldn't have any scraps left around. That's a nice way to finish your project, and it's uh, your uh, partner, whoever gonna receive uh, the items left after your project, will be able to uh, do a couple more projects using the same materials, and that means it's gonna all look all in the same um, colors, and it's gonna look uh, very nicely. All right, so. This is uh, uh, the packaging. Nothing new, really. Nothing new about that. So um, in here, I use um, the regular Tim Holtz um, 
uh, rosette dye. There are many rosette dyes out there, uh, maybe not from Tim Holtz. I use the Tim Holtz. I'm sorry, I don't have it handy. So I, I die cut it uh, like three different colors of the paper. It's regular, um, regular uh, recollection pastel card stock. So I used blue, uh, pink, and uh, soft pink or of cream. Uh, for this particular rosette and then uh, yeah for this rosette um, I assemble it and there will be a process video at the end so you will be able to see how I uh, decorated all of them so this is one of the NSK trims 3d uh, bow um, applique this is the um, uh, Santa baby collection um, die cuts so very simple and you can see the sparkle around you probably can see the sparkle around each one or here uh, this is regular glitter I use the glossy accents so I go around the edge with the glossy accents and then I just dip into glitter and uh, let it letting it dry and set in and that way I um, achieving, uh, I'm achieving uh, this sparkling effect. So next rosette, uh, you can see I used uh, the smaller rosette. I used the punch, the floral punch right there. You will see it in the video. This is Prima Flower. Again, I did the same crystallized glittered um, snow effect. And this is one of the stems um, right in here that I glittered. Um, so and it looks very icicle so very wintry in this particular one I just used um, the sticker this is a your dollar sticker look how beautiful it looks and the only thing I added that you haven't seen in uh, the video I do believe you I didn't record that part so I have some um, Jolie Boutique's um, snowflakes right there. Um, I bind them with a coupon um, at Michael's. And this is classical snowflakes, white and silver. So they're always handy to have. Um, and there is quite a bit of them, 25 pieces in here. So um, next time you're going to go, if you have a coupon that you're not using, grab those. Uh, so I uh, topped that flat, uh, really not that much interested, uh, as you can see, um, stickers uh, with the um, uh, dimensional snowflake and it looks really sparkling. So in this uh, particular rosette I use NSK um, dangle bow trim, the bling trim. Uh, and uh, in here, uh, similar as this, uh, on a, uh, another die cut of uh, the uh, flat floral flower with a punch, um, I added the uh, snowflake, the sticker snowflake, and topped it with another 3D Jolie Boutique sticker, and layered it all, and, and used this uh, glitter... Uh, um, glossy accent effect. Uh, this particular one is a little bit more compli uh, complex uh, but really not really that difficult to do. So the base is Tim Holtz Rosette. Then I use couple stems of this glitter die cutted uh, leaves and stems. Then I used one of those flat punched um, flowers. Um, and I topped it with the applique uh, from um, NSK. So, and uh, this applique already, this uh, applique, uh, flower applique comes with all the beads and everything on it. So it was not uh, much work. So that's it uh, for this uh, particular project. Thank you so much for um, tuning in and uh, uh, if you have any tips, suggestions, please, um, you know, or just comment, um, share in your comments so we all can learn. So
so thank you so much for stopping by stay tuned for more uh, projects uh, from Chevy Christmas in July art mail um, series